Hello. This is my workspace at home. And I'm what you're seeing here are um, some life drawings that I've done as uh, demonstration drawings for my life drawing classes. I thought it might be interesting to maybe make some sort of five minute videos about drawing and maybe using these these demonstration drawings as a way into talking about drawing. These um, these drawings were they've all taken probably about half an hour and um, that includes lots of stops and starts as I sort of talk about ideas and so on. And then the point of them is to, you know, as, as, is, a, as a, is a way into thinking about how drawings work and what, what lines and marks and so on mean. In this drawing, for example, there's, um, there's a sort of an outline line, a kind of a circuit that goes from the shoulder down to the, the elbow, down to the hands, back up to the other shoulder, uh, elbow and the shoulder and so on. And that's been revisited uh, several times. And you can see the earlier versions. Um, and so the scale of the drawings changed as the drawings taken shape. And though that evidence of those changes of mind, I think they can be just as much part of the subjects of the drawing as the, the kind of the image itself. There are marks here that are trying to find the, the, the form and they don't necessarily uh, stick to the, the details exactly. Uh, for example, you've got the, uh, some lines that are coming down the, the right side of the, the, uh, the, the face, uh, perhaps the side of the charcoal. And they're saying something about the, 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 the shadow on that side of the face, but also they're saying something about the, the, the form. They're, they're, they're saying something about the angle of the, the face and so on. Um, so they're, 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 they're about... They're saying something about the form, but they're not relying on the details. And the, the, these these lines are going um, beyond the edges, the outlines, uh, because the, the point of those particular marks is to say something about the shadow and the form. The shadow's there because there's a form there that, that's causing the shadow to be there. There's a double line that's going over the uh, the brow on the on the uh, left. And that's one of those things that happens sometimes with charcoal, where you get this sort of double line. And it couldn't have been predicted. Um, and I like to think of those as sort of kind of little gifts from the gods of drawing in a way. I mean, they're there, there and you wouldn't have predicted uh, something like that. But they, it works. And it also reminds us that, you, you know, you might be drawing a particular detail, but, then, but there's always going to be another version of it, you know, that you don't need... The, the ideal version of it, you know, there's, there's always several versions of the same thing and they're all equally true. There's a more or less vertical line that comes down the, the uh, left side of the face, um, our left, and um, that's also saying something about the uprightness of, of the head, but it also relates to the, 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 the edge of the, the, the head as well. That line that's going around the, 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 the face that comes in and out and in and out and so on. Um, that, that's taken its, its course. And it also um, it, it, it relates to that, that straight line. And, and the camera wouldn't see that straight line. It doesn't exist in that kind of world of sort of optics and so on. Uh, but it does exist in our world of drawing. You know, it means something. And uh, all those uh, lines and marks and so on—they've all—they've all taken time, and they all sort of say something about that 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 period of time when you spent looking, really paying attention to the presence of somebody. Uh, and so, you, you know, of course, you're trying to get the drawing to look like a person, like a particular person. But the drawing is also uh, a, a series of traces of, of moments when you touched a paper, when you decided something and changed your mind. And all those um, changes of mind are as much um, part of the, the portrait, as it were, as details that are in the right place. As I said, these, uh, these drawings were done as demonstration drawings. Um, and, so, and so the whole process is unpredictable and, and sort of awkward as well because it's a case of me trying to draw and talk and explain the thought processes as they're occurring, as I'm drawing, which is, of course, kind of almost impossible to do. 
Um, but I thought I might make a few of these, say, five minute videos to just to discuss some ideas about drawing, since I won't be able to, won't be able to do any life drawing for a while um, because of the coronavirus lockdown. So I thought this might be an interesting thing to do. So here we are, uh, some life drawings. So this is the first one of these anyway, and it feels a bit awkward me talking to myself here. But I'll uh, I'll do try to do a few of these, and hopefully they'll um, they'll make more sense as I go along. <laughs> 